Happy Labor Day, everybody. So I have a collective haul here from various places, Amazon, Walmart, and um, I think that's it. <laughs> so let's get started. So let's first start with Amazon. So I do have some crafty stuff. Um, let's start with this first. I got these, I uh, believe it was on Thursday. No, maybe Wednesday um, last week. So these are, um, I don't even know what you want to call these. They're little um, booklets, I guess. And um, these, let me go ahead and take them out of the packaging. <clears throat> They've got like little tiny, I would say, is it two by three? Maybe even smaller than that. But they're little tiny pictures of, you know, just for aesthetic. If you want that aesthetic look is what they're, I guess they're calling it these days. Um, of just various things. And it's like printed on vellum, which is awesome, right? So um, I picked this up from Amazon for $9.99. Now I know you can get these on AliExpress and I was thinking about it. I, w I almost ordered them on AliExpress, but then I thought about, you know, you're paying shipping. It's no longer really free shipping on a lot of stuff from AliExpress anymore. And then you're gonna have to wait God knows how long, depending on where it's coming from, because, you know, some of the ports in China are shut down because of COVID. So, you know, stuff is not getting um, sent out or rather you're not gonna receive it, you know, within two to three weeks like you normally do with AliExpress. So I figured, you know, if they're selling them for like a dollar something and then there's like $2 or whatever of um, shipping you have to pay, $9.99 is not bad from Amazon considering it's prime and I literally got these in two days. Um, it's funny because some stuff I've been, Prime has been taking like up to five days to get and this one I got within two days from ordering it. So um, yeah, this actually came out to be a better deal. So if you're interested in ordering the same ones, let me know in the comments and I'll go ahead and I'll um, include the link or the description for you to look it up on Amazon. So you know, they come in different, like based off of the color palette that you want. These are okay. I mean, I don't mind, you know, I kind of want something a little bit more vintage looking, but I can still make these work in my layouts. So I got those. <clears throat> Sorry if I didn't do a very good flip through there. <laughs> Um, then I also got these yesterday. I actually held off on filming because I wanted to at least get two things that I ordered from Amazon. I still have like another two that are coming in. So these are, um, fake, uh, slides, film slides. Okay. So let me go ahead and pull out one. It's okay. We'll do this one, the flowers. So this is what they look like. Let me, there we go. And I'll pull a couple out. So they're stickers, basically. Um, it was funny because I didn't think all of them were going to be stickers, but that's okay because um, the way they came out, it's really nice. So that's what it looks like. They're clear. Okay. It's like printed on acetate. So they do look like slides. Um, I mean, I could, I could use some of my old slide film that I um, shot back in the 90s. So for a lot of people that don't know these, are not negatives. Well, they're not, they're not called negatives. They're called positives because a negative would be like 35 millimeter regular film and slide film is positive film. That's why you actually get the image in color. So, um, it looks like you get two of, uh, of each image. So these are going to look great. And this is the reason why I have this for the specimen cards. I have the die, which I had shown before. So, it would probably look like that, you know? So <clears throat> I'm really glad that I was able to find these. And how much were these? I think they were $6.99. I'm not sure. I have to go look and you get six packs. So, um, and there were two different kind of um, packs that you could pick. I forgot what the name of this one was and what the other one was. So you got these, these are all floral. Then you got this one here, which is, it's just aesthetic. <laughs> that's all that's the only thing I can think of is for, as far as like the uh, description. Oh, there goes my air conditioner again. So um, they're a little dark though. That's the thing. 
but that's okay. This one's got a lot of purple in it. This one is more of like, oops, sorry, I shook the camera. Sunset, um, like golden hour. So there's some like, um, I think it's mostly flowers. And then you've got this last one here. It looks like it's still flowers, but they're just really dark. So I don't know, I'll, I'll make it work. <laughs> so I got those and then from um, Best Buy, I finally broke down and ordered um, a Bluetooth um, mouse. Oh my God, how many freaking mice do I need? So this one is for my tablet, and yes, you can use a mouse with a tablet, um, but it's gotta be Bluetooth. And this is a really great one. I like how it feels, even though it's a little flat, but that's okay because, you know, I mean, it works great because I hate having to like touch the screen. Uh, I'm one of those that just can't stand getting fingerprints all over my tablet. Um, and even though I did put a uh, screen protector on there still, it's kind of annoying, especially when you got oily skin and then, you know, your fingerprints get all over it and then it's hard to like make it, you know, move and do stuff on it. So I picked this up and it's great because I can also still use it with my laptop when I leave the house, you know, if I have to bring it. So it's got not only Bluetooth, but it does have the USB um, thing in there. It's a, I haven't yet figured out how to pop it out, but that's okay. Now that I've opened it, I'm gonna throw away that thing and put that to the side. So onto the rest of the haul, I have the stuff that I bought from Walmart and I probably will go back, sorry, today to pick up more. So, if you have seen these at your Walmart, you need to go and scan it with the Walmart app to see if they come out to be a dollar. So I picked this up. I bet actually I bought four and I'm probably gonna go back and get another four. So these are the Logix paper and craft storage cases. Yes, they scan for a dollar. I saw this on the BrickSeek website. Um, I periodically check on there and just look for the new stuff that's uploaded for in-store, okay? In-store for Walmart. And um, these are great because they're paper size and they're pretty sturdy. Um, it's a, another alternative to the storage containers that I have bought from uh, Dollar Tree. Though Those are really great because they're a little bit smaller, but they're a little bit flimsier, but these are very sturdy. So like I said, I picked up four of them. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give one each to um, my nieces when they come over today because we're having family dinner. Um, so that way they can store their art supplies and stuff in them. And then let's just get that out of the way here. We'll put this to the side. I also picked this up because I'm already starting Christmas shopping. I've read in a couple of places that there might be a shortage of like toys for Christmas because of, uh, with the backup of like stuff in China, you know, shipping it out. Um, we might not, they might, you know, stores might not get their inventory in time for Christmas. So while there are toys now, I'm, you know, I'm already shopping, so I don't have to worry about it. So I picked this one up for my, my niece, my niece, my nephew, because he is so into Pokemon right now. Um, yeah, so I got this. Um, I don't really know much about Pokemon cards. I mean, I know Pokemon, but not the cards. So he's been begging me to get him um, Charizard, the card. <laughs> And then he just told me he wanted to get Charmander. So I gotta go look up um, those on maybe, I don't know, eBay and see how much those individual cards are. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get him a couple of like um, packs, more packs of, um, of Pokemon. I've gotten him probably like five boxes maybe, four or five since his birthday of Pokemon. And it's just an addiction for him. He just can't stop. So yeah pick that up for him. I also saw this on um, the Brick Seat website. And the funny thing is, is that in the store, they're not even marked down, but like, they're not labeled in other words. So you need to like go and scan because these are like about maybe less than $10, like 9.90 something. And it's still marked on the end cap. But when I scan them, they're $5. So this one is the ice dye um, tie dye kit. And then I've got here the striped one. There is another kit that I'm gonna go back today also and get, which has all the colors and um, 
it comes in a storage tote and it's also five dollars so i'll probably try to feature that later on um you know show you guys what it looks like but if you've got kids that loved tie-dye this is a great um these are great kits to give for birthdays so i'm giving those to one of my nieces for christmas um and then i also got there's something else i have to go and get downstairs i also got these and they were on brick seek these are one dollar each there's a hundred wipes and yeah i know it's um rubbing alcohol but you know um i'm gonna keep like a box of this at work because i'm constantly pushing putting lotion on my hands because i'm constantly washing my hands and um you know i get the lotion on my screen and then i get fingerprints and like i told you i'm like oh can't stand fingerprints on my phone <laughs> or my tablet so i'm always wiping them down and this is great for you know just keeping it clean um for a hundred hey this isn't bad right so i might pick up a couple more and then give them to my sisters so they've got a box and let me go downstairs and get the last thing i'll be right back and i'm back <laughs> so i stopped by ollie's yesterday and um didn't really see much but i did pick up this wonder woman graphic novel um it was only 3.99 uh it's volume four they didn't have the other volumes but hey I didn't care I mean I pretty much kind of know the story but I never really read it so I got that um, actually had more than I thought I forgot I also went to Target or oh, wait hold on I went to um, Marshall's and picked up this Bosca um, mask face mask which I forgot to use last night so I guess I'm using it tonight it's marked down to a dollar so um, definitely gonna use it it's the black charcoal pore minimizing hydrogel mask so I'm gonna try that I went to Target and got these um, storage trays there's only four of them but you get a doll you know it's for a dollar and um, they're great for like when you're you know you're laying you've got a whole bunch of ephemera that you need to like um, you just don't want it flying off of the desk sometimes so yeah got that and then lastly I held back on opening these because I wanted to do it on camera I was finally able to find the Sailor Moon um, backpack oh uh, what do you call these backpack what are they called hanging hangers weird okay so anyways I'm as you I probably don't know a big Sailor Moon fan I have been since the 90s um, so I don't collect as much anymore as I did in the early 2000s. Like I was like seriously collecting, spending way too much money buying Sailor Moon stuff. I did sell some, I still have some. I'm still on the fence about selling them, but I don't know. Anyways, let's see what I got here. Oh, I got Mercury. Okay, she's okay, um, but she's really cute. Look at that. These are actually not bad. I just don't like the holder but I can see that I mean it's supposed to resemble the wand obviously and then come on give me Sailor Moon or Luna they had more but I just picked up two so oh uh, I got Jupiter great <laughs> it's okay I mean whatever you know I'll have to go back and get a couple more hopefully I can get Luna or Sailor Moon so um, yeah that is my haul uh, for this week or uh, rather for yesterday and the day before I keep forgetting that it's Labor Day today so um, I hope everybody has a great Labor Day and um, yeah at least we'll have a four-day work week you know and then unfortunately I won't have another day off in terms of holidays until Thanksgiving so hopefully I'll be at a new job by then because I'm seriously trying to get out of this job all right so everybody till the next haul bye-bye